I, look, I'm I'm super happy that you're doing what you're doing. I can't tell you like you inspire me to be frank with you. But I also have to ask: Is there something going on up here? Are you a little <laughs> right? Is there? <laughs> What would make you think I'm, I'm doing question. this, right? Like, uh, what, what, why am I doing this? What, why am I going to put my whole life on the line for this? It's an entirely valid question. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to, I need to take that cognitive test that Trump took. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, you know, um, there's a there was there's a certain level of. Um, um, starry-eyed wonder that, hey, I can try to make a difference here. Um, uh, I ask myself the same question literally every day for the last three years. I mean, literally every day, there's a moment every day where you think to yourself, what were you thinking? I mean, it's sure there are moments where it's great fun and you're, you're, you, you have little brief gl- you know, blips of fame and all that stuff. Oh, I'm on KBTX. That's great. You know, and, and there's, you know, there's, there's certainly fun aspects to it. Uh, I, I used to love knocking on doors and just starting conversations with complete strangers, which, which was entirely out of character for me. Um, but I found that's my favorite part of campaigning, but every day there's a point in every day where you go, ah, oh, this is just awful. And, and for me, it's usually around raising money, right? Just yeah. the, the pressure to raise money and the knowledge that if you cannot raise money, um, that, um, you know, this already tilted field just tilts ever more, you know, steeply against you if you, if you can't raise the dollars to, uh, to get your message out. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's not easy. Um, it, it's exciting at times and at other times it's just a grind. And, um, yeah. Underlying it all, the motivation is that just, you know, maybe lightning's going to strike. Just there's always the possibility that lightning's going to strike and we'll pull off, you know, what, what, what most people think is impossible to actually have a Democrat win here in Central Texas. Oh, man. Listen, we need your hope. We need you to feel that way. You know, like you're, you're, you sacrifice yourself in a lot of ways by doing it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, agree with you and support you and, and want to see you, you know, come to success. So, you know, I can say that, you know, you're making that sacrifice is a big deal. Again, it's very inspirational. I, I couldn't do something like that. I, I just, I would want to, but I just think one, I'm, nobody wants to hear from me, first of all, you know, that's why I think nobody <laughs> wants to hear from me. Uh, you know, what am, what am I going to do? Um, I guess there's you know, a little ar- a little arrogance mixed into the in, into the into the soup here. <laughs> no, but you need I it. I actually thought somebody would actually want to listen to me. But I think you need that. You you felt you could make a change, and you went for it. You know, yeah, I exactly. I really I respect that. Um, you know, I you know you got to respect that. There's just something very very respectful about that. So, you ran before, right? In two thousand, yep. what was it? Seventeen? Eighteen. Okay, yep. eighteen. Um, mm-hmm. so you obviously felt well enough about that to say. I'm going, I'm going to go back at this, right? Were, were there, was that the biggest, when you made the initial decision to run, was the second decision to run harder or was the first one harder? Wh- which one uh, was harder? Um, first one was harder because it was, it's really scary, right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, never being in the political game in any way whatsoever, you don't even know what to do. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. Actually, filing as a candidate was one of the easiest things. I'm shocked. It was one of the easiest things I've ever done. You go on the FEC website, you fill out two forms, and boom, you're a candidate for United States Congress. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it, harder to get your license, right? It, like, it, it is. It's like- you got to take a test. <laughs> it's much harder. Um, but I'll tell you a story. Very, uh, you know, I, I started this. I, uh, there's no definitive date for when I started it, but I always use September 1st of 2017 because that's our, it was in there. So- Later in September of that year, I met with my first political consultant and I told this person about what I wanted to do. And um, he looked me dead in the eye and said, "Okay, do you think you're going to win or are you setting up for 2020? And I, of course, said, I'm going to win. Of course, man, we're going to go all in on this. And he looked at me and just pointed me right between the eyes and said, you're setting up for 2020. And he was, of course, spot on, uh, absolutely correct. It takes so long to, to build 
uh, uh, relationships, especially in a, a district like this, it's almost it's 7,800 square miles. I mean, it's just physically big. Um, and, and it's very diverse. As you know, you've got a slice of Austin and Pflugerville, but you've also got Bryan College Station. You've got Waco. You've got, yeah. Fairf- uh, you know, you've got Fairfield and you've got rolling ranch uh, uh, lands and farmlands in between. So um, it takes a very long time to establish the relationships that you need to establish to talk to a all the people you need to talk to, to learn how to raise some money, um, to learn how to, you know, to learn what people want to hear, right? What they want to really hear about. Um, and that doesn't mean you, you compromise your, 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 your message or your, your principles to tell people what they want to hear, but it's more about how you're conveying your message. Um, you know, we learned something very, uh, very, um, uh, uh, disconcerting, if you will, I, in, you know, not too long ago, we did a poll and we, you test some messaging when you do a poll out there, right? And you, you throw this question out and you say, hey, uh, Rick's an engineer. Does that make you more likely, less likely to vote for him or do you not care, right? And it turns out nobody really gives a rat's ass that I'm an engineer. <laughs> that does not contribute to the, to the conversation at all. <laughs> you know, and if you had asked me three years ago, I would have said, hey, you know what? Uh, that's really going to appeal to people because they're going to want a logical thinker rather than this this political baloney but you know what they don't care they don't care what what people really care about is is what's going to affect their day-to-day what's going to improve their day-to-day lives what's going to protect their lives and livelihoods um and and protect their concept of what america is and it's it's Voting is, you know, I, I came at, at it all as an engineer with logical approaches, and, and that still sort of forms the basis of my um, my policy uh, formulations. Um, but people's voting decision is is ninety nine point nine percent an emotional decision, right? And and you've you've got to recognize that, and you've got to you've got to be able to learn to communicate along those lines rather than. Well, you know, if I uh, if we um, if we simply cut down on our addiction problem, then this that you know this that and the other thing, uh, you know, the win 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 win. We we save lives. We take t- pressure off the border. We we deprive the cartels south of the border of a of a revenue stream. And if we do that, we increase the security environment, so we'll have less asylum seekers coming to the to southern border. So there's four wins by cutting down on our on our um, uh, addiction problems. But you've got you've got to find a way. To, to state that not as a, a set of dominoes that are going to fall, but here's how your life, Mr. or Mrs. Voter, is going to be improved by, by us investing in reducing our addiction problem. Wow, that is so interesting. Yeah, I can't imagine that that's just something you're going to learn over the weekend on your Kindle. You know, like, it's, it's, <laughs> that seems like impossible. Uh, well, if, you you know, do, you're, if you do, you're a shoe in for the job. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah, but yeah. It's taking yeah. three years. Yeah. <laughs>